Hello, my name's Jason from septictank.co.uk and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. I've been repairing and installing septic tanks and soakaways for about 17 years now. And if you're experiencing septic tank or soak away problems, then I'm really sorry to hear that. But please be rest assured by the end of this video, I'll not only show you why you're experiencing the septic tank problems you're experiencing, but I'll also show you how to fix them and save thousands. To start with, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of short videos which will show you what a septic tank and soak away are, how they work and why they develop the problems you're experiencing. So to start with, here's the first video and it's entitled, What is a septic tank and soak away? So, what is a septic tank and soak away? A septic tank and soak away is an off-main sewage system and they're basically designed for properties that are not connected to the mains drainage. And this type of sewage system normally comprises of two components, the septic tank and the soak away. Okay, so now we've seen what a septic tank and soak away are, the next video will show you how a septic tank and soak away work. So, how does a septic tank and soak away work? All houses produce wastewater, and this wastewater is made up from things like fat, grease, hair, skin, human waste, toilet paper, etc. And this waste comes from showers, from baths, from sinks, toilets, and washing machines. The wastewater leaves the property and enters into the septic tank. Once the wastewater enters the septic tank, the septic tank then fills up until the wastewater reaches the outlet pipe. The wastewater then exits via the outlet pipe from the septic tank towards the soak away. And once it reaches the soak away, the wastewater then enters the soak away pipes. Once the wastewater enters the soak away pipes, it then soaks or drains away naturally into the topsoil. That's the basic function of how a septic tank and soak away work. Okay, so we've seen what a septic tank and soak away are. We've seen how a septic tank and soak away work. Now, the next short video we're going to watch explains the most important process that can happen and happens within a septic tank and soak away. And it's this process that determines whether your septic tank and your soak away will actually work properly. And this video is entitled, The Amazing Bacteria Process. Good bacteria naturally occur and live inside most septic tanks. And it's this good bacteria that breaks down and eats all the waste inside a septic tank. As the bacteria break down the waste, the waste is then converted into sludge. And over time this sludge sinks down and builds up on the bottom of the septic tank. This is a sign of a really healthy septic tank system. And that's why every 12 months a septic tank needs emptying or desludging to get rid of all that sludge. A typical septic tank emptying can cost anywhere from 100 to 200 pound each time. Okay, so what have we seen so far? Well, we've looked at what a septic tank and a soak away are. We've seen how a septic tank and a soak away work. We've looked at the amazing bacteria process that goes on inside the septic tank and it's that process that keeps a septic tank alive and working healthy. 
So why do problems develop with a septic tank and a soak away? For example, why do septic tanks smell? Why does the soak away become blocked? Why do we have to keep getting our septic tanks emptied more and more frequently? Why do septic tanks overflow? Well, the next video will answer those questions for you. So, why do septic tanks develop problems? Well, septic tanks have a common enemy, cleaning products. You see, cleaning products such as bleach, toilet cleaners, washing powder, dishwasher tablets, soap and shampoo, etc. They kill septic tanks. How? Well, basically it's the chemicals in the cleaning products that are the problem. You see, these chemicals kill the good bacteria that keep a septic tank alive. And it's these chemicals in the cleaning products that cause two main problems. Problem one, these chemicals are the main reason why a septic tank will smell. You see, once a good bacteria in the septic tank dies, the ecosystem inside the septic tank also dies. And once the ecosystem's dead, it means that this waste inside the septic tank can't be treated or broken down anymore. So this dead waste just starts to quickly build up on the bottom of the septic tank and then it starts to fester and rot. And once that starts to happen, gases are then released from this waste. And it's these gases that are the bad smells that come up through the pipes that lead to the drains, the sinks and the manhole covers. And these smells are the first symptom of a dead septic tank. Problem 2. A blocked soak away. As the sludge continues to rise in a dead septic tank, it will eventually get so high that it reaches the outlet pipe. Once this happens, the sludge and the fat and the grease will then start to slowly leave the septic tank and start to head down the pipe towards the soak away. Once this starts to happen, all that fat and the grease and the sludge will enter and start penetrating the soak away pipes. And then it will completely block up all those arteries and prevent the wastewater from soaking away anymore. This is the second symptom of a dead septic tank. At this point, what are your options? Okay, so one route that people normally go down to try and fix their blocked soak away problems is to get the septic tank emptied. Well, for me, that's not a viable option. Let me explain why. If your septic tank is backing up or overflowing, then of course you need to get it emptied and this will remove the stagnant wastewater inside the septic tank, but that's all. The sludge and the fat and the grease will still remain in the pipes leading to the soak away because unfortunately it can't be sucked out. And this sludge and the fat and the grease will continue to block up the soak away pipes. And unless that sludge is removed from the soak away, then the wastewater will continue to overflow from the manhole covers and will just keep backing up towards the house. And as you know, to keep getting your septic tank emptied can cost a lot of money. Okay, so option two. Another route that many people go down is to rod or jet their soak away. Well, for me, also, they're not viable options. They just won't work. Why not? Well, tanker companies, number one, will say to you, oh, we'll jet your septic tank for you and your thing, because it's a living for them. They'll make money from it, but it won't work, because you imagine if you've got a soak away pipe, it's surrounded by soil at the end of the pipes and all around the pipes. So when you spray spray high powered water into the pipes, it just compresses and compacts the fat, the sludge and the grease. It doesn't unblock the soak away because 
because there's nowhere for the fat or the sludge or the grease to go. Also, if you rod your soak away, that won't work either because if you imagine in the pipes, it's just fat and grease. And so if you just stick rods in there, it just pokes through the fat and the grease. So having to pay uh, money to get your soak away jetted or having to put all that effort into rod your soak away won't unblock your soak away either. So if emptying your septic tank won't unblock the soak away or rodding or jetting the septic tank won't unblock the soak away, what will work? Worms have been around for thousands of years, converting waste and byproducts into safe, clean, organic matter. Soak away worms are an incredible safe, clean, natural and organic solution. Soak away worms will not only utterly unblock your soak away, they'll also clean and completely unblock all the fat, the grease and the sludge in your septic tank. They'll also prevent septic tank or soak away problems from ever developing again. I've created a short video now which will show you how to get the soak away worms in your soak away and I'll also show you how they work. Step 1. Remove the lid from your septic tank and then empty the bucket of soak away worms and bedding into the septic tank. The worms will sink to the bottom of the septic tank and very quickly they'll adjust to their surroundings. Then they'll start burrowing and working their way into that sludge, that fat, that grease. And then once there, they'll start breeding and multiplying. From there, the worms will make their way up through the outlet pipe of the septic tank and start heading towards the pipes that lead towards the soak away. These worms very quickly as they start to breed and multiply will make their way through that sludge and that fat and their grease through those pipes. And very quickly these worms will start to penetrate the entire soak away pipe system. Not only that, another thing that's so incredible about these worms is that they'll reach deep into the nooks and crannies and pores of these blocked arteries, reaching areas that rotting and jetting just cannot get to. The worms very quickly will start to eat and digest all that fat and the sludge and the grease that are blocking up the soak away pipes. They'll start converting that waste into safe, clean, organic matter, converting it into a watery discharge or solution that will just drain away naturally into the soil. As the worms eat and remove all the sludge and the fat and the grease from the soak away pipes, this will allow the wastewater to flow freely once again. Not only fixing and unblocking your soak away, it'll also keep it unblocked for good. Soak away worms will unblock and clean your septic tank also. As we've seen, sludge is the main reason why you have to get your septic tank emptied once a year. It's also the main reason why septic tanks and soakaways develop problems. The worms will not only remove all that fat and grease and sludge from the septic tank, they'll also keep it clean. So instead of having to desludge your septic tank once or twice or three times a year, soakaway worms mean that you'll never have to get your septic tank emptied or desludged again. Soakaway worms unblock soakaways. They prevent soakaways from ever becoming blocked again. Soakaway worms eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge that block up soakaways. They completely reduce septic tank emptying costs and they'll save you thousands in repair costs.
As we've seen, the chemicals in household cleaning products kill the bacteria and the ecosystem inside a septic tank. And this is the main reason why septic tanks develop problems. Septic tank fertilizer protects the septic tank from the harmful effects of the chemicals in the cleaning products. Simply drop one of the water-soluble sachets into the toilet of the septic tank fertilizer each month and it will dissolve within about 15 to 30 seconds. Once it's dissolved, just flush the loo. The septic tank fertilizer will put millions and millions of bacteria and enzymes back into your septic tank. It will revive dead systems, bringing them back to life once again, and it also completely and utterly removes smells. Septic tank fertilizer is organic, it's safe, and it's easy to use, and it's free with every bucket of soak-away worms.